I thought I'd make a short little instructional video on what I do with my military surplus gear. And I know a lot of you from the comments, you don't have a military surplus store near you, and I regret that, and, I, and I'm sorry. Um, I wish you did. I work on a military base. I live near quite a few military bases, uh, Air Force, Army, and um, Navy. And um, I got this today. I get this today at a thrift store, uh, $20. And it is used. As you can see, somebody went to a lot of trouble to scratch out the name. And, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's well used. There's, there's no holes that I've found. Um, but I'm not going to call it lightly used. It's definitely been used. It's dirty. It's been to the field. And uh, I'm just going to take you through the process of what I do. And, and by the way, if you're um, not familiar, this is the Molly 2 Modular Lightweight Load Carrying uh, Equipment Assault Pack. So this is the Assault Pack Molly 2 um, in that ugly, nasty uh, 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 Air Force Green, digital uh, Sage Green. And we're going to take care of that too. Uh, you can find this, this camouflage pattern uh, gear a little cheaper right now because it's no longer used by anybody. The Army and the Air Force have both gone to something much better. And um, so you can find this stuff fairly inexpensive. And if, if you don't live near a uh, military surplus store or a base, uh, look online. There's, there's several. Army, Navy, something. Uh, there's Venture Surplus. I'll tell you what, I'll put a list of some of the, the online military surplus stores that right now are selling this stuff fairly cheap in this camouflage pattern. Yes, it's ugly, but we're gonna we're gonna show you how to deal with that. And I thought I'd just take you through what I do with this gear when I get it. Like I said, I picked it up today, 20 bucks, and I'm gonna fix it up. So what I do is I pull out the the uh, stiff sheet, the stiffener, and the little foam insert, take them out, and then I'm going to throw this into that soapy water and just let it soak for a day and get everything loosened up, all the grimy, cruddy stuff from being a used field pack. So it's been a day and his stuff is soaked. So let's bring it over here and just uh, do some scrubbing on it. And after scrubbing it a bit, I'm going to take it back over here, some clean non-soapy water and uh, rinse it, get the soap out, and after I've rinsed it good, then I'm going to take it over and throw it on the clothesline for a day or two, let it dry because it's not until it's good and dry that we can even tell whether or not we have it um, clean enough. And if it's not clean enough, then I'll make the decision to either do that process again. And this is magic marker, so that's not going to come off, and I understand that. Um, but then we decide whether or not we're going to try it again or if we're going to throw it in the washing machine when my wife's not looking. Well, it's a rainy, stormy afternoon and evening here on the bayou, but we managed to uh, get the pack down off the the um, drying line and um, before it started raining. And I tell you what, I'm very happy with this cleaning that we gave it. I think it looks pretty good. It definitely looks better than it did. Of course, the magic marker's still there, but that's okay. Uh, still got look like some tape residue there. Well, that might just be dirt residue. I don't feel anything. I think it's clean enough that 
we're going to go ahead with the next step, which is dyeing. So we're going to dye this pack olive. I've never used olive before. And this is the eye dye um, uh, dyeing kit. It's a pretty good kit. We're going to um, use hot water. I got some hot water boiling over here. And we're going to mix it with some cold water, just enough to cover the pack. Swish it around and let it sit a while. And uh, see what a nice olive will look like on here. So we poured the hot water into this big bucket and we're swishing around the dye. It comes in a little uh, packet that is dissolvable. So you don't have to pour it out. You just throw the whole packet in and um, stirring it up real good and now we're going to add some cold water to this just because it doesn't have to be boiling hot and my water pretty much was boiling hot and I need a little more water so I'm going to use this to help stir it a little bit more and get a little more water in there before dipping in the pack all right so we got the pack in the dye and what I usually do I get it nice and wet everywhere and then I usually use bricks or weights you know uh, dumbbells or something like that just to hold the pack down and then I'll come out in 30 minutes or so and stir it up a little bit and and move it around all right what a difference 16 hours makes um, yesterday afternoon it was storming and and thundering and and raining and today it's 51 degrees and windy Welcome to the Panhandle of Florida. All right, so this is the result we got out of our olive colored eye dye. And you can see that is a nice, a nice uh, olive on what used to be a white strap. However, I'm not sure that it's enough to make a difference on this pack. Um, it darkened it up. But it's going to be even lighter than this um, when it dries. So I'm not sure this is enough for me. I may end up having to dye it again. I've got a green over here if I have to do it again. But you know, I've never used the olive before and I just I needed to uh, experiment with it. I am seeing that these um, strap wraps, these elastic bands are going to have to go because they are... Oh, and I shouldn't have left that one on. Yeah, that's that's a mistake. Folks, if you do this... Make sure you undo all your straps. Although they died fine, it looks like you're not supposed to do that. This obviously is not much of an instructional video, is it? Anyway, um, I'm going to hang it up in the sun, duck dry, and just see what it looks like. But indications from these white straps, although they're a nice olive, I'm not sure they're going to be what I want. We're just going to have to see. All right, we have let this dry for a bit and pulled it down because, gee, it's starting to rain again. Now it's cold, windy, and rainy. So, so the, the pretty olive that I showed you earlier has turned into kind of a tan. And that's okay, but it's not what I want. Because, frankly, what this looks like is just dirty digital sage camouflage. It's better. It's better than that sage, but it's not what I want. Not for the environment that I'm in. So I think I'm going to go ahead and dye it again and see what happens. Now, I've never dyed anything twice that I remember. Um, I assume it can take dye twice. Don't know why it shouldn't be able to, but we're going to find out. All right, so here it is the next day, and we've dyed it again. This time, just green. And you can see that these white um, straps, which went from white to olive, are now a green. And I'm not unhappy with this final product. Um, I mean, obviously, you still see the, the, um, the old sage digital camo pattern, but it's, it's much darker now than it was. And, and I can live with this. So that pretty much completes what I do when I get a piece of mill syrup. Um, I think that this turns a atrocious camouflage pattern, which is very easy to find and fairly inexpensive right now, into something usable. I really do. And uh, I would have no problem with, uh, 
with using this this darker version of the sage camo um, I mean is it woodland heck no but uh, it's not terrible it's not terrible so now that I've got this thing all cleaned up and dyed and processed what am I going to do with it well actually I don't have a real use for it I have a couple of these packs um, one in woodland and one in OCP that's the newest camouflage so I really don't need this one so I'll probably either give it away sell it or maybe I'll have a contest coming up here sometime soon and make this the prize but uh, either way it's a good pack um, I really think it's worth having I think I might look at buying some uh, repair straps here or maybe uh, just go with velcro because um, these these uh, these little uh, retainers these elastic retainers are, are pretty much shot but um, it's a good pack and definitely would work for anybody needing a good military assault pack style pack hey thanks for watching I appreciate you